everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and it is HP Chromebox Week on the channel. We're going to do a lot with this thing over the next couple of days. Uh, we're first going to start off with some benchmarks, but then we're going to get into some nitty-gritty stuff, like trying to get XBMC installed on it. We're even going to try to get Windows running on the Chromebox, and we're going to take it apart when we're all done to see what's under the hood and what we might be able to replace as well. So it should be a fun week. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, though, is the easiest stuff, uh, and that is benchmarking. So we're going to run the Octane test on here and then take a look at a WebGL demo because that was something I did not do with this device uh, when I last had it here in the studio. So let's take a look at that Octane test. So the HP Chromebox gets a score of 11,161, and that edges out uh, the Acer C720 Chromebook that we looked at a few weeks ago that was running the uh, Celeron 2955U processor, also a good processor to run on. So this is a little bit faster than that. I expect that uh, because this is not in notebook form. It's not running on a battery, so power saving isn't as big of a deal on a desktop computer than it might be on a Chromebook. So this is a very nicely performing device. Um, certainly not as fast as like my quad-core i7 MacBook, but it is uh, definitely uh, good enough to do a lot of the things that you might do on the web. Let's take a look and see how the WebGL performance looks on this. All right, we'll take a look at two different tests here. This one I thought was pretty cool. This one is called uh, WebGL Racer, and it's, uh, I think you can actually move the car around. Oh, you actually move the car. This is pretty cool. I, I just found this a few minutes ago, and I just figured I would give it a shot. Look how nice this runs on here. Uh, this is a uh, WebGL demo. It's running in uh, HTML5, and it makes use of uh, all the things that WebGL can offer. Now I wish I had all those Chromebooks still so I could test, uh, test them out with this as well. But as you can see, it really runs very nicely and smoothly inside a web browser. You can find this at helloracer.com slash WebGL. So as you can see, it actually does very well. So it's got decent 3D performance, at least on site. Unfortunately, I don't know if we can get an idea of what the frame rate is, but it does feel like we're at least getting uh, 30 frames per second because it is nice and smooth. And one more to take a look at. This is one that we ran when we did that head-to-head -head Chromebook test. Uh, this one's called, I think, Angry Robots from Unity, the game uh, platform maker. And as you can see, it also runs pretty nicely, although it doesn't run full screen in 1080. And I'm not sure if this is a function of this demo in particular or if perhaps there's some kind of detection as to what my hardware capabilities are and it kind of uh, letterboxes it like this. But as you can see, it does seem to be running pretty nicely just as well as those uh, lower powered Chromebooks would. And that's a good, <laughs> a good sign that it can at least keep up with those. And I think, again, a good example that uh, these little devices, once the right software is written for them, will actually be able to keep up quite nicely. So uh, that is part one of our series on uh, the HP Chromebox. And the next uh, couple of videos are going to get a little bit geekier as we attempt to install different operating systems on them uh, and then eventually take it apart. Hopefully, we'll be able to put it back together again. I did install uh, Ubuntu Linux on uh, the Asus Chromebox, and I did that series a couple of weeks ago, so you can check that one out. So I'm not going to repeat that one, uh, but again, we're going to look at uh, Open ELEC, which is an XBMC implementation. Uh, we're going to look at Windows, and then, of course, we're going to rip it apart and put it back together again. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.